No, it was no. probably at nine or a ten. I'd okay, say. and that was constant, twenty four seven. Yes, every day. Had it? Was there anything that ever made it better or worse before you met me? Yeah, it made it worse when I uh, stood up and walked. And now, after your first protocol, which I saw you back in April, this is June. Uh, during your first protocol, now after your first protocol, what did you tell me? You're we're probably I'm probably at. Uh, I can I could stand up all day long and work all day long right now so I'm probably but at the end of the day it it's it's painful again mm -hmm. but so I'm probably about 80 percent there I'm thinking 80 percent mm -hmm. the toes that were completely numb now what is that yeah uh, two of my toes uh, on my left foot my little toe and my the one next to it are I, I can their they're feeling is completely normal so that's improving yeah so yeah. it's not a completely numb foot anymore right and now after your first protocol, which I saw you back in April, this is June, uh, during your first protocol now, after your first protocol, what did you tell me you are? We're prob I'm probably at, uh, I, can, I could stand up all day long and work all day long right now, so I'm. Well, blood pressure long. medication, so they gave you a diuretic. Well, exactly. Said before, that brought it down. Now you've had two weeks, you just told me you had two weeks that you Stop taking the diuretic. I, I, yeah, I quit taking the diuretic, and uh, my blood pressure is uh, virtually the same, 120, 125 over 65. Which and never happened before without the diuretic. I had to have that diuretic. 15. Hi, I'm Dr. Herman here. Here's another great uh, patient share, patient experience of what's happening with this unique care that I offer people, and I can help you too. Uh, and this is Mr. Erickson, a very nice uh, person who's generous to share his his improvements, his progress that he's experienced so far with my care. Uh, and uh, although we're not reporting our complete recovery yet, but I think that uh, we're grateful that he could share his, his progress already so that you can see that there are steps that people can take to start improving their function. And in his case, it was, is, was neuropathy in your feet. Correct, yeah. And how long was the neuropathy in the feet that you experienced before you came here? About a year and a half. And yeah. your first visit with me was? In April. April. And a year and a half, you had it up until April. Right. Okay, so now it's almost two years. It's yeah, closer, yeah, closer to two years. Two years We're in yeah. June of 2018 right now. You also, with the neuropathy, you also have high blood pressure. I do. How long have you, and you've been taking blood pressure meds for how long? No, 15, 18 years. 15 to 18 years. And they noticed how long ago that the blood pressure meds weren't working, so you had to get on a diuretic. Yeah, shortly after I started on the uh, lisinopril, they uh, uh, prescribed a diuretic uh, hydrochloric. And that's what brought the blood pressure right. down to a right. manageable, okay position. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, your, back to the neuropathy for a minute, your neuropathy was numbness? Correct. Yes. Numbness around the top and the bottom of both feet or yeah. just part of, just the bottom? Just the bottoms of both feet. Bottoms of both mm -hmm. feet. And the toes were numb? Toes were numb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feet were numb. Balls of my feet, heels of my, everything. Okay. Yeah. And But nowhere in the legs? Uh, no. And nowhere in the hands? No. Okay. And the numbness in the feet on a zero to 10, would you call it a complete numbness or was there any sensation at all in there? I Besides the, not the pain sensations, yeah, right, but was there any right. normal sensation at all? No, it was no. probably a nine or a 10. Yeah, okay. And that was constant 24 seven? Yes. Every day. Had it, was there anything that ever made it better or worse before you met me? Yeah, it made it worse when I uh, stood up and walked. You stood up and walked? Yeah. And, and immediately with the walking, or was it after? Oh, uh, after 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I'd be, I would be have to sit down. I couldn't, I couldn't stand. And you couldn't stand, not because of leg weakness, but because of the foot pain. pain exactly. Pain. And exactly. you called it, it was like gravel, you yeah, said. Walking you said, gravel, like yeah, walking on gravel. Walking on gravel, barefoot. Yeah, barefoot. Yeah. And, but it wasn't like gravel when you first started to walk, but it became that after a few it, minutes it, on the feet. Exactly. And now after your first protocol, which I saw you back in April, this is June, uh, during your first protocol now, after your first protocol, what did you tell me you are? We're prob I'm probably at, uh, I, can, I could stand up all day long and work all day long right now, so I'm probably, but at the end of the day, it, it's, it's painful again. Mm -hmm. But so I'm probably about 80% there, I'm thinking. 80% improved. Mm -hmm. Because you can walk all day, you used to have to get off your feet by 15, 20, 30 minutes because exactly. it hurt too much, yeah. but now you can walk right. around all day outside doing construction work, Right. and your feet are not killing you that yeah, way. Yeah, I can work all day, and, 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 and uh, uh, when I get home, I, you know, I'm glad to sit down. Yeah, but it used to stop you where you couldn't do the work, I so then you can do I the work do. that you yeah. want to do, but I couldn't you couldn't do it before because you couldn't stand exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah, and so we're improving. We're not there yet at 100%, but dramatic improvement, 80% that you could walk around now. Yeah. Uh, and also, 
Uh, you also said about two of the toes that were completely numb. Now what is that? Yeah, uh, two of my toes uh, on my left foot, my little toe, and my the one next to it are I, I can they're, they're feeling is completely normal. So that's improving. Yeah. So yeah. it's not a completely numb foot anymore. Right. Not completely right. numb. Not two completely toes you have feeling again, so they're not numb. So that's exactly. great. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And uh, you had been through, we're going to talk about the blood pressure in a minute, but you had been to how many different doctors did you go through before you came here? Uh, six or seven. And probably. they were neurologists? Neurologists, a uh, chiropractor, uh, um, I even went to a urologist. And what did these doctors do? They did MRIs? They, they did, did an MRI, a CAT scan, uh, they did uh, uh, nerve, conduction nerve conduction test. Did uh, they ever come up with a real answer as to why? They couldn't find anything. They didn't know why. They, they guessed and uh, once when offered to uh, do surgery if I wanted to have a look at my back somewhere and poke around, but, yeah. uh, but you didn't, I, I didn't, didn't choose that one. <laughs> and, they're, and they're also the... Um, did they offer you any therapies or pills or anything like that? And if you did, if they did, did you take any of those? Uh, I, no, I didn't. I, I did some chiropractic work and and uh, st stuck with that for a few months, but did it, that, it didn't it, make a difference it, at it all. It had no no effect at all. Okay, and now again, we're eighty percent better with that. You can last all day working and walking, uh, so it's not that painful like walking on gravel feeling when right, you're doing right. work. Uh, and your feet, at least the two toes, are not numb anymore. Right. So their feet are still numb at this point, which we'll follow up with another video as he gets better and better with this unique work that I'm offering him and you. Uh, but uh, also, one more thing, that's fair to say, yeah? Right. Okay. Yeah. So the other is that your blood pressure, you they couldn't get your blood pressure down with the lysinopil blood uh -huh. pressure medication, so they gave you a diuretic. Well, exactly. Said before, that brought it down. Now you've had two weeks. You just told me you had two weeks that you stopped taking the diuretic. I di yeah, I quit taking the diuretic, and uh, my blood pressure is uh, virtually the same, 120, 125 over 65. Which and never happened before without the diuretic. I had to have that diuretic. 15 years ago. Yeah. And now we're two weeks yeah. without it, and your blood yeah. pressure is still and the same. I'll be, I'll be excited to get home and slap on my blood pressure machine and see if I see where I'm at, but I think I'm, I, I, I think I'm pretty good. You might be stressed by the blood pressure up by the kind of exam findings I showed you today. I told you about <laughs> I don't know. But outside of that, but we're do, moving along in the right direction. Yeah, That's absolutely. Fair to say. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I've, I've done what I've done. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Thank I'm happy you. you've done what you've done. Thank you. Well, we're working together. You're the hero. I'm just helping you become the hero with it. Mm -hmm. You're the one who's healing. You're the one who's given me the chance to do it with you and for you and help people see. So I'm grateful that you're helping me help people know. And uh, I plan on getting you to the end of where you want to be, which is not the end of life, but you know what I mean, the end I of your disease it, and the it, whole it, thing going on yeah. and having your life back yeah. so you can function and enjoy it. Um, you can call my clinic. I will put up information. I'll make another video with some exam findings that I did that I found with him that he found in his first protocol, followed in his first protocol. What will be following in the second protocol? Uh, but we're doing pretty good here and um, better than anything could anybody did for you in the past year and a half. And um, you can call my clinic. I'll make another video that'll show those findings here, then I'll merge with this video as well. And our phone number in the clinic that you can call to make an appointment is 954-370-3100. That's 954-370-3100. And you can also leave, I'll leave the email address to my lovely assistant. She's very nice and happy to answer your questions and bring you in here. I'll put that down on the screen too. and. Uh, Look forward to helping you as well.